I look like a red smurf today. this thing and it still starts better than the ultimate <laughs> god i really do look like a red smurf today <laughs> no circle sunglasses today haters the problem is i'm wearing all red you see so i wanted to keep the theme of looking like a red smurf and in case you guys didn't pick up on it this is actually one of joe's sweatshirts but the thing is, like this was a mess up, like before he had the official design done. <laughs> so this was just sitting in his house and I saw it when I was grabbing something from him and he was just like, you using that? He's like, no, so it's mine now. <laughs> I haven't driven the vet in probably a week now. It's been a minute, just been doing shit. <laughs> been working with Jeffrey on his businesses, working with him on his YouTube channel, working with doing the documentary with him. And then I got something else that's cooking that's really, really cool with the documentary. It's not gonna be, oh my God. That ain't coming until sometime in December, so I'll announce it closer to then. Let's just say I met Rob Ferretti. That's all y'all need to know. But recently, you know, it's been the kind of thing where I've been up, you know, all night, every day. In fact, I don't think I've taken my contacts out in four days, which is really bad. <laughs> but think of it this way, I haven't really slept in four days either. So they say it's bad to sleep in your contacts, maybe not be awake for four days in your contacts. I don't know if there's a difference, but you know. But yeah, man, I've been all over the place. Guys, I have some less than good news, and really, I'm not happy about this any more than you guys are. Last video, I said I was gonna be getting a bike within the next two weeks, and at that time, that was 100% true. It was a very weird time in my house because nobody was objecting to me doing it, but nobody was saying we approve of it. So I took that as, okay, fuck it, I'll do it, why not? Like, I mean, what, what's the big deal? I did have the money, I had about two grand in my pocket that I knew I could spend on getting a bike, and then the rest of the money I had, I could spend on getting the bike insured, I could get it registered and actually, you know, ride the thing. This is where I was wrong though. I kind of live by the forgiveness versus permission philosophy. <laughs> like almost everything I do is kind of that. The thing is that I really didn't realize, my parents really didn't want me to get a motorcycle. I'm talking about like really didn't want me to. And what I mean by that is, they threatened to kick me out of the house. Basically, I came up with the bike I was gonna buy and I was telling them I'm gonna go buy this bike or whatever. The problem started when I asked them if I could borrow like my mom's car who had a tow hitch, if I could rent a U-Haul, because a friend of mine was gonna let me use his U-Haul um, to put the bike on, because I wasn't about to ride it back wherever I got it from, simply because I'd rather embarrass myself at home rather than in front of the person I'm buying it from. But as soon as I asked to use their car, they were like, uh, no, we, we, no, absolutely not. And I got mad and my parents are like, why are you like, you know, killing off something I want to do? This is ridiculous. And you know, I got the money for it. So whoever repaved these lines must have been drunk. Like, <laughs> but we battered back and forth. You know, we just like, we tried talking with each other. Then it turned into kind of aggressively negotiating. And then it went to arguing. And then it eventually went to, I had basically an all out yelling fight with my dad. And my dad is a very, very calm and timid person. This is somebody that never gets mad. He has like unlimited patience. I don't know where he gets it. I sure as hell don't get patience from him. I have Amazon Prime simply because I can't wait for jack shit, let alone plan. It might help if I knew how to do that. But we started yelling at each other and my dad, I don't remember the last time I yelled at him. We were duking it out. Like, I mean, we were mad as shit at each other. It was so, so stupid. I'll put it simple for you guys because I know at the end of the day, what you guys want to know is when I'm actually getting a bike. Y'all are going to have to wait until after Christmas. I'm not thrilled about it either. But my parents wanted me to pay them a little bit more money back on the vet before I ended up going to, you know, pursue something else, like a bike. And the way I thought of it was, well, you know, I'm gonna pay you guys back, but I would appreciate if you would let me get this in order first. You know, it's not because I'm being a selfish kid, it's because I'm doing this because this is a very opportune time to buy a bike, and you know, it's a good time to ride still because it's not freezing cold. Like, it's bad, but it's not gonna be nearly as, it's not as bad now as it's going to be in February. We just look at things different, and basically what they told me was, if you just start going doing shit, you know, doing belligerent shit that we say you can't do or we explicitly tell you not to do, you're gonna have to find another place to live. They kept stressing the phrase, I don't wanna bike at this house. This is our house. I don't wanna bike here. And in the back of my head, I'm saying to myself, uh, hello, this is my house too. Like, are you kidding me? No, it's not. I live there. Like, am I gonna throw away like where I live right now and like the relationship I have with my parents because I want a fucking $2,000 motorcycle? 
no, sorry. Just to give you an idea of how much my parents trust me, like we have a very good built up trust. If I told them I was driving five hours up to New Jersey or five hours up to Pennsylvania, right now, tomorrow, they'd say, okay. So he goes, I'm sorry to get your hopes up. You know, I just, I wasn't aware. I didn't realize, you know, how, I guess scared my parents were of me getting a bike and how little they really wanted me to get one at the moment. I just, I didn't know. So I'm sorry I gave you guys false information, false hope, so to speak. It's it's coming, like end of story. I also changed what bike I'm going to get. Uh, it's not want, it's going. I really like buying things that nobody else likes and typically that's a bad way to buy things because there's a reason nobody likes them. But nobody likes C4s, nobody ever likes this generation of cars, but now I get people telling me all the time this is their favorite body style. I don't know if that's attributed to me, I don't know if it's attributed to the fact that this one looks nice and this is the one I put on the internet, like I, I don't know. Any 18 year old kid can go buy a CBR 600, like that, that, that's easy, like lots of people do that. That's why they're all over the internet. They're cheap, they don't break, they're fuel injected, did I mention they're cheap? Anyone can do it, it's a safe starter bike so to speak, you know, it's powerful, you can grow into it, whatnot. But you see, the thing is, none of those words describe this channel or this car. Like, none of those at all. So after browsing Craigslist, like, almost every other day, like I did for this car, and really seeing what is possible, what might be worth my time um, in the future, because this is going to be sometime in January when I actually pull the trigger and buy this bike. I'm not going to tease you anymore. The bike I'm going to try and get is a 954 double R. And everybody who's a bike person is writing in the comments right now, are you crazy? For those who don't know what that means, that's a Honda CBR 954 double R. It was only made for two years. I think it was 03 and 04, or 02 and 03. One of those two, but it was before their 1000. A lot of people have called that bike like the bastard child of Honda bikes or the bastard like child of leader bikes. People have said that Honda kind of like threw that bike together last minute to compete with Yamaha's um, R1 at the time I think or bike people please correct me I know nothing. But nobody likes these bikes and a lot of people it's on like the list like you know you go online and you type in like top 10's best starter bikes top 10 or top worst starter bikes it's always on the top worst bikes to not start on. <laughs> it's a terrible bike to start on. Here's why. It has one of the shortest wheelbases Honda ever made, so the damn thing wheelies all the time. And it's a very torquey motor. So you crank that throttle the wrong way, baby, you going up. You do not need to clutch up to do a wheelie or dump the clutch or whatever the correct term in bike terms is. Like, you can throttle wheelie the bitch. Which, frankly, man, like, that's cool. Like, I like all that. That sounds awesome. And it's different. You know, people call the C4 Corvette like the bastard child of Corvettes. 954 double R is the bastard child of Hondas. I think it fits perfectly here. But anyway, guys, that's the situation we're in. Obviously, you know, if things change or whatever, I'll keep you updated. I mean, I hope to get a bike as soon as possible, but at the same time, I do need to respect my parents' wishes. <laughs> but if this video is anything like my last video that I made about, oh, look, a bike, that's funny. I want one. The last video I made where I talked about my parents getting on my case about like making videos that were not exactly of, um, Let's just say my insurance company wouldn't exactly agree with what I've been doing lately. <laughs> anyway guys, if you made it this far for some reason, I guess that really means you have nothing to do with the rest of your day. <laughs> I'm glad I could distract you for 10 minutes or so. So anyway, I love it when I see you guys support the channel or tell me I'm a fucking idiot. Like, it's all good stuff. Tell me I'm a complete view whore. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get it. Thanks for watching everybody. Y'all have a good day.